Hello, in this video I am going to explain a stack program in Python. What is stack here? Okay, stack is a data structure that represents a group of elements stored in last in first order. Okay, first out order, last input and first out order. That means that the element which is stored as last element into the stack will be the first element to be removed from the stack. So here inserting elements into a stack is called push operations so how you if you are inserting elements into a stack is called as push operations stack operations we will do in the list format and removing element from stack is called pop operations push operations nothing but inserting elements into a stack and pop operation nothing but a, uh, removing elements from the stack here okay so what stack that nothing but the element which is stored as last element into the stack will be the first element to be removed from the stack here if you observe this diagram these are inserting elements here push operations removing element is called pop operations if you observe the diagram Insertion and deletion of elements take place from only one side of the stack here. Okay, it's called top of stack and bottom of stack is closed and doesn't allow any operations. And next, if you want to know what is last in first order, simple example I will explain here. Last in first order means simple take any list here, any list value elements here, one comma two comma three. Okay, print list here. Okay, this is a given list here. Now I want to do push operations. Push operation means inserting elements into the stack. How you enter elements into the stack? using append method okay simple using append method you are entering elements here into the stack for any any value so that's the if the given list so last in this one last in last in list here okay, okay. Uh, observe here just execute it see one comma two comma three is a given list so whatever you entered element it will okay so end of you can you can see the, it's the four stored in the end of the list here okay end of this list here that okay last input last in if you enter uh, any element if you append element 5 it will store in the last set last year okay at the end of the list it will store in the end at the end of the list here the element store in the element end of the list append method push operations can achieve through append method now we have to remove element remove element you can achieve through pop method pop okay pop operations removing uh, element here so pop operations remove the new element whatever the new element entered that will remove first here okay last in first out simple okay last in first out here list right okay so now we execute it first uh, see observe the given list so last input so last input can achieved through append method so element four here new element entered last input and first out okay first out means pop using pop method you can remove the last in what are the new element that will be removed using pop method last in first out if you enter five here Suppose if you entered five, four, or five or six, the way whatever the new element entered, that will be eliminated first here. Okay, last in first out. So last in first out, you can achieve through append and pop method. Okay, append method inserting element and pop method removing the element from the stack, given the stack here. Okay, so last in first out, last in first out, and stacks must follow last LLI for order, where the last element pushed on the top of the stack should be popped out first here. Okay. So push operations means inserting elements. I told inserting elements into the list. Pop operation removing the elements using pop method. Peep operations. Peep operation nothing but returns the end end element in the list. What is the okay? it returns the in the topmost element means without deleting from the stack. So what is the topmost element here in the one comma two comma three third one? Okay, so it returns top topmost element in the list here like that. Searching operations means now knowing the position of an element in the stack from the top of the stack. Suppose what's the position of two here? One okay. What position of three here? One. Uh, to second one okay this position of one zero it returns the position of the stack here okay such operations so we have to do these operations here first to create these operations we have to create class for each operation push operations one class pop operations uh, peep operations such operation create create a class stack class and then create an object and with that object you have to perform different operations here okay pushing appending inserting uh, uh, removing searching and peep operations okay first we have to create a stack class Now we will create a stack class. In the stack class, we have to create some methods for push operations, for pop operations, for peep operations, for search operations, along with 
one constructor okay create one stack class so test class here stack okay and now create a constructor so to con create a constructor we have to use init method right init method in that init method we have to pass self here self nothing but a memory location okay memory location here self and just create a variable okay self dot list is equal to empty list here next create next suppose if stack is empty it has written something okay so for that you have to write some method for that you have to create some method so take empty method for that right and pass a variable a self check okay, whether it is empty or not to check empty or not we have to pass some variable here and return self dot stack is equal to empty okay to check to check stack is empty or not next push operations so what is push operations here okay we have, we have seen it means inserting element at the top of the stack okay this can be done with the help of append method of the list okay so append element where is means inserting element into the stack the thing but okay push operations for that we have to create a method def push here okay push and pass element okay self comma element right and simple uh, just also append okay using append method self dot stack dot append element okay simple so inserting element into a stack push operations next after push operations we have to do the pop operation okay it means removing the topmost element from the stack this can be performed using pop method of the list so this method returns a remote element that can be displayed means pop method removes and returns the element here okay so pop method for pop operations we have to create pop method pop right and pass don't pass element just any uh, self here okay and suppose the stack was empty it had to return something so that if i have to take if loop if self dot is empty if the stack was empty it has written something okay so just return whatever you need return minus one or whatever else if not empty just return self dot stack dot pop method okay it removes the last element last in first word okay whatever entered a last element it returns it removes that okay pop method simple next thing next is peep operations peep operations means it returns the topmost element without deleting it okay from the stack it returns topmost element without deleting from the stack simple for that uh, this is done by returning stack n minus 1 element where n is the number of elements of the stack so if the stack has five elements the topmost element will be the fourth here okay so since the elements are referred from zero to fourth position as you know simple first we have to get the length here for that you have to write peep operate peep here peep and pass self self in other words memory location in the computer it assigns some memory location okay self means and you have to get the length here n is equal to length of stack by sorry self dot stack self dot stack and return just uh, n minus 1 okay self dot stack n minus 1 right it returns the topmost statement in the stack it means in the list here next is searching operations okay it means knowing the position of the element in the stack from the top of the stack for suppose if we had used list index method for searching operations that can be used like stack dot index element okay it returns the index of the element okay which returns the position number okay of the element from the 
beginning of the stack. Once this knows, we can get exclusion from the stack. Okay, size of the stack like that. Simple. Just a uh, search method for this. Search and we have to pass the element. Okay, to know the position. Search here and pass the element. Self comma element. And okay, and check if uh, stack is empty or not. If self dot is empty. Okay, and return something. Return minus one. If not empty, else spot. Okay, and write in try block again. Okay? The search method right try block try. And then is equal to some write as self dot stack dot uh, index of element. Okay, to get the index of the position element. Right, and this return right return. Okay, length of dot okay, length of self dot stack minus n. Right, it returns the position of the index. Right, except so if element was not found. Okay, we are writing except value error if the element was not found. This return something. Okay, return minus two or minus three whatever. Right, and now display. Okay, now this display display the list stack. Okay, whatever method you have in, or whatever operations you entered, just return that stack self. self dot stack right simple that one okay so these are the operations okay so these are the sorry these are the methods so if you want to use this method we have to create a uh, stack object with that object we have to use this method okay for inserting the push operations is used for the inserting an element into stack and pop operation uh, is to remove element from the stack peep operation returns a topmost element from the stack and search operation returns the position of the element in the stack okay so that's uh, these these are four methods. If the is empty method is nothing but it has the means check if they're empty or not. Okay, if it is empty, it returns just empty stack here. Okay, and for that we have to create initially constructor one constructor we have to create it, and we have to write this all this in right and so. We have to move that one again. Okay. Right, this is a stack here. So for that we have to initialize a constructor and check the empty uh, stack or not. If it is empty, return the stack. Push operations for inserting the element into the stack and pop operation remove the element from the stack. Peep operation returns the topmost element and search operation returns the position of the element. Okay. So these are the methods and we'll create an object now and we'll do these operations. Okay. Now we have to create a stack object. To create a stack object, simple use s is equal to stack. Okay, after creating stack object, take one variable choice here. Okay, choice equal to zero. Any okay, and assign as zero here. So we have you have to repeat the loop here in while loop. Just pass the choice here, and we have to create menu for this one. Menu means like this. Is a menu so stack operations if choice equal to one means you have to add element okay choice equal to means you have to remove element three means replacing element four means searching an element five exit here choice equal to in enter choice here okay if choice is equal to one okay we have to this is the menu we have to create it if, if and choose our file loop it repeats the loop okay whatever choice you have entered it repeats that loop you know if add element means you have to use push operations here okay to push operation is appending an element Two means pop okay three means replacing element doesn't have any method in the list but uh, you can use remove and you can use remove uh, method in the insert method okay for replacing an element and searching an element we have already did this search element okay search exit choice okay so if choice equal to one if choice is equal to one just enter what one is adding an element okay adding an element here just element element is equal to int input ok 
ओके एंटर एलिमेंट एंटर एलिमेंट राइट सो नेक्स्ट व्हाट वी हैव टू डू आफ्टर एंटरिंग एलिमेंट वी हैव टू ऐड टू द स्टैक हाउ यू कैन ऐड टैक ऐड टू द स्टैक स्टैक ऑब्जेक्ट डॉट पुश ओके पुश में थर्टी जीरो राइट एंड पास द एलिमेंट सिंपल सिंपल ओके नेक्स्ट इफ चॉइस इक्वल टू टू इफ चॉइस इक्वल टू टू हैव टू रिमूव द एलिमेंट इयर नाउ सो टू रिमूव द एलिमेंट एलिमेंट इज इक्वल टू स्टैक डॉट पॉप मेथड इज ओके पॉप मेथड राइट एंड चेक इफ द स्टैक इज एम्प्टी आर नॉट फॉर दैट यू हैव टू पास इफ लू इफ यू हैव टू नॉट इफ इयर एल इफ इयर ओके right here if element is equal to minus 1 that means empty stack okay equal to minus 1 print stack is empty print stack is empty double equal here okay stack is empty right and otherwise pop element okay display pop element else print just the pop element okay p o p p element right there's a next choice equal to 3 choice equal to 3 means uh, peep operation okay returns the top most element from the stack choice equal to 3 element peep peep operations and we have to print it okay print top most element element here simple next choice equal to 4 replacing element i think replacing means we have to do two met two operations here choice equal to 4 choice equal to 4 here observe here choice equal to 4 is a replace uh, sorry searching an element here right push method pop method adding an element right here just such method only is there so replace element is not the such else choice equal to 4 just element enter is equal to int input enter element for searching operation okay to know the position here the menu is little bit uh, Okay, first one is adding an element. Element not a replacing element here. Peep element here. Okay, peep. Peeping element and searching element. Okay. Peep element, not peep element. Right and input enter element to search here. So after elementing element enter that is store in the position. Position is equal to s dot search. element okay so the element in index it returns okay the element rate element index it returns uh, suppose if it is empty if position is equal to minus 1 okay so means empty suppose we have written in the stack class now stack is empty print stack is empty okay elif position is equal to minus 2 position is equal to minus 2 print element not found okay element not found in the stack right if it is element not found in the stack else element found here simple else 
print element found in the stack element found in the stack right and write the position here okay position it returns the index position pos okay then else break else break and print stack is equal to display method okay so we start display display the stack simple we have written now display method in stack object in stack class right it returns the state stack here and that's it just execute now right stack operations add element remove element peep element search element exit enter choice one enter element one okay just write enter element any element 10 enter okay right here 10 here okay so again you enter one one more element one adding element 20 now observe 10 comma 20 right another element you enter 30 sorry one choice one 30 okay 10 comma 20 comma 30 right another element 40 another element okay 50 right see 10 10 okay first operations adding an element so what's the last in here 50 50 is the last in okay so it will you have to remove 50 here now okay just two enter choice two removing an element observe okay it removed here 10 20 30 40 okay observe right next i have to return the topmost element so for that you have to enter choice 3 peep element right so see the topmost element is called 40 it returns here okay 40 so next searching an element position position of the element okay so i want to search 30 okay what's the position of 30 here okay just 10th is 0 position 20 is first position 32 position here okay just enter choice 4 enter element 30 to search right and see element found in the stack 2 second position here okay 30 means so now i have to exit here 5 5 okay that's it okay so that's about the stack remember the stack is last in first out okay and you have to use the list uh, list data structure so last last in first order this means the element which is stored as last element in the stack will be the first element to be removed from the stack here okay simple simple operations push a pop and peep and searching an element okay so next we will see the queue